So Logan Paul went to the Japanese suicide forest and he was cracking jokes and we need to talk about it. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. On New Year's Eve, Logan Paul posted a video. He's been in Japan doing some vlogs. He's not somebody I follow, but this news has been popping up everywhere. And apparently while in Japan, he went to the Japanese suicide forest. And this is a forest in Japan, and I'm not going to even try to butcher the name. This is a forest in Japan, and it's known as the Suicide Forest. Now, Japan has a long history of suicides. They they view suicide a little bit differently in their culture, um, dating back to the samurai days. Um, it's looked at as an honorable death to some, but there's also you know the rise of mental illness, almost like there is anywhere else in the world. We live in a you know a time where mental illness is a big problem and we need to start looking at it differently. That's one of the reasons why I have this channel. But anyways, the video that Logan Paul posted is now down. Um, a lot of other YouTubers have been covering this and I would feel remiss if I didn't talk about it because my channel's about mental health. So basically I'll just give you the recap from what else I've seen. I'll link to another video uh, that I watched that pulled some clips before he took it down. But anyways, Logan Paul starts off with a little disclaimer, which I'll get back to in a second. And it says like, hey, if you're depressed, go get help. But anyways, in Japan, they uh, they go to this suicide forest just to check it out and, you know, have a good time. That's what they planned on doing. And as they were walking through the forest, they actually found a man who had hung himself. Now, in this forest, most of the people who go there, they hang themselves. Um, either that or they poison themselves. A lot of them will go there and overdose on drugs. Um, on average, they don't have an exact count, but on average, they say about 100 people commit suicide in this forest each year. In 2008, when the market crashed, in one month alone, they had about 2,500 deaths. Now, when Logan Paul and his little crew of whoever went in there, like, it was it was like a, a messed up, stupid version of like Stand By Me. Um, and it was it was kind of ridiculous. And I was just really getting upset just seeing the dumb looks on their faces of trying not to smile and not knowing like how to react. And then Logan Paul like cracking a few jokes and things like that. And it's 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 really brutal just seeing that. And here's the issue that I take with it. Like a lot of people are just heated about it for like you know, obvious reasons, obvious reasons. Here's my issue. There, There's a lot of people in celebrity culture, like um, if any of you watched my video about Carrie Fisher and her passing away, Carrie Fisher was a huge mental health advocate because she struggled with mental illness as well as drug addiction, things like that. Um, I'm a fan, um, even if I'm not a fan of their work, I'm a fan of any celebrity who uses their voice to try to help people struggling with um, mental illness or addiction. So you have like people like, Eminem and Macklemore and Matthew Perry and Robert Downey Jr. He's Jr. He's talked openly about it too. And so let's start out by talking about that disclaimer that Logan Paul tossed up at the beginning of his video. It was pretty brutal. It was nothing. There was no resources or anything. Here in the United States, where Logan Paul is from, we have a national suicide hotline as well as a text line. It is a line that I give to people all the time if they are suicidal. And I will link in the description down below to both those numbers if you need it or you need to relay it to a loved one. But like, I get it. And, and like, what's, what's frustrating is he took the video down, but he only took the video down because of the backlash. That was it only because of the backlash. And that's kind of a thing that you find in the YouTube community. No, screw it. Not even the YouTube community, like just in pop culture in general, people are only apologetic after they get in trouble for it. Had he not got the backlash from it, I, I, I would assume that he'd go the rest of his life not knowing that he did anything wrong. And what, what I don't get, what I don't get about this situation is, it's like, sometimes there's smaller YouTubers who have to, they, they, no. They don't have to, they want to, okay? They, they want to get more views and they do some really shady and really stupid stuff. But Logan Paul is like synonymous with YouTube. He's one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform along with his brother. Like you don't need to do scummy things in order to get views. Like you don't have to, the views are already there, you know? And uh, and yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. But 
you know, the last thing I'll touch on is like, this is one of the reasons why there's such a stigma about it too. Because Logan, Logan Paul and his brother, they, their audience is like, you know, just the most average random person. It's a lot of kids and things like that. And, you know, they're, they're not doing anything to help the next generation when it comes to talking about mental illness, talking about drug addiction, talking about these very serious things. So when, when someone that big uses their voice in a negative way like this, it's, it's pretty troubling. You know what I mean? But, um, but anyways, uh, I do, um, you know, mental health advocacy on this channel. I do mental health news on this channel. So I thought I would give you my two cents on this Logan Paul situation. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, check the description down below. If you or somebody you know is suicidal, please check out those numbers. Give them to whoever needs them, all right? But thanks for watching. Um, if you wanna improve your mental health, I talk about mental illness, I talk about addiction recovery, so hit that little round subscribe button. Also, to the left of me right there, click or tap on one of the thumbnails. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.